Greetings and welcome to our daily Timothy time. My name is Carl and it's a privilege to be with you here this morning with an open King James Bible in our English language. Uh, just looking at one or two verses um, that when you read today that you might consider what you've heard during this program. And this program is just yet to promote Bible reading from a dispensational point of view to rightly divide the word of truth because that's how you're going to get the profit out of the scriptures. And having said that, you would understand, now understand why this is a two-tiered reading system. This month, we're reading through the book of Acts. And like every day, uh, uh, we're reading through the, the Pauline epistles. It's a non-stop uh, cycle, if you, if you, if you, uh, for lack of better wording. Anyway, today's read in the Pauline epistles, 1 Thessalonians. There's five chapters to get through there. The verse I want to bring up for your attention here today is verse 23 when, when, when um, Paul writes here, he, he, he breaks down our anatomy, spirit, your mind, soul, your heart, your seatbeds of your emotions, who you really are, and your body. That's a really interesting study, especially if you're dealing with depression. Then in today's read, we're going to be in the book of Acts chapter 7. Acts chapter 7. If you want a, a, a very quick history of Israel, well, Acts chapter 7 is going to give you that. Um, Acts chapter 7, actually is uh, one of a number of different chapters that give you a brief history of Israel, uh, of, of, of their dealings uh, and going about, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, chapter 7, some key points here. You, it, it's just so action-packed. Um, you meet, um, okay, you, you're dealing with, uh, Stephen gives, give, gives, it gives the leaders of Israel basically a history lesson if I can say it like that. And then right at the end, if you get to verse 54, out of the 60 verses in this chapter, you've got to understand, this is in that one year period of, of, of uh, the kingdom being offered is now up. You get to verse 54, Israel fall when they stone Stephen and he, he, and he falls asleep. You take this verse 54 down to 16, you take that across to Romans chapter 11. In fact, I'll take you to the verse. Come with me to Romans 11, if you will. Romans 11. Let's quickly have a look here. You tie this together. Um, Romans 11, 11. For time's sake, I'm not going to read. In fact, let's just quickly read it out. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation has come unto the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. Now, if the fall of them be the riches of the world and the diminishing of them the riches of of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness. Uh, for I speak to you Gentiles, in as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. See, Israel fell at the stoning of Stephen. You get, so from Acts chapter 1 to cha Acts chapter 7, Jewish territory. The church, the body of Christ, had not started yet. Uh, um, uh, Acts chapter 7, verse 54 down to 60, Stephen gets stoned. Uh, and, he, and he falls asleep, he dies, Israel fall. The middle wall of partition comes down. Okay, that there is, this is the crisis point in the book of Acts. And it's a wonderful read. There's so much going on in here. Uh, I, I could just say to you, if you've got any questions, send them in. Let's have a look at them because it, yeah, it's... Um, <laughs> It's pretty packed, uh, especially verse for me, particularly verse 54 through 60. There's, there's lots going on there. Anyway, time's up for today. Enjoy the read, and uh, we'll catch up again tomorrow. Till then, grace and peace, Maranatha.